All right, we want to know what you think. Who won the presidential debate last night? Was it Kamala Harris or Donald Trump? You can weigh in right now on our non-scientific poll on the WFSB app. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Marcy Jones is now with us with a closer look at the youth vote in Connecticut. Good morning. That's right. Good morning. Well, reaction to last night's debate continues to pour in from voters across the state. And while there is a huge range of opinions, a common theme surfacing as November's presidential election creeps closer closer as voters are paying close attention. For some students at University of Hartford, this November will be the very first time they'll get to cast their ballots. Like many Americans, they're taking the responsibility of voting seriously, making sure to follow both the Trump, Vance and Harris Walls campaigns closely. That includes tuning in to Tuesday night's debate. While priorities differ from individual to individual, large focus has been placed on several big issues like health care, inflation, foreign policy, policy, job rates, and taxes. According to census data, even with a record turnout for the 2020 presidential election, just over half, roughly 51% of Americans ages 18 to 24 voted. Compare the Gen Z turnout with that of boomers. 76% of those aged 64 to 74 voted in 2020. Historically, the reasons for low turnout among young voters include a range of topics from lack of candidate satisfaction to voting acceptance accessibility. For college students, accessibility is key. If they wish to vote, they must register to vote in their college town, vote absentee, or travel home, if that's even possible. Dozens of students gathered last night to watch the first presidential debate of the 2024 election. The event even served as a place for them to register, many expressing their encouragement at the level of interest of their peers. I'm very invested in politics as a whole, and while I personally already know who I'm going to vote for, I'm very invested in how the election is going to go. We want them to really understand that political leaders are not going to pay attention to them unless they go out and vote. Coming up, we're going to be taking a closer look at reactions from lawmakers right here in Connecticut. In the studio, Marcy Jones, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.